The Royal New Zealand Air Force, RNZAF, is taking a significant step forward in modernizing its aging C-130H fleet with the construction of C-130J-30 Super Hercules Flight Simulator. The first phase of the simulator's construction has been completed in Montreal, Canada, and it is now en route to Florida for the next wave of fittings. The $38 million flight simulator project is part of the New Zealand Ministry of Defense's broader initiative to modernize the RNZAF's current C-130H fleet, which has been in service since 1965 and began its decommissioning cycle in February of this year. The simulator is scheduled to arrive in New Zealand in 2025, where it will be maintained by RNZAF Base Auckland's No. 40 Squadron. Andrew Rooney, the Ministry of Defense Integrated Project Team Leader, emphasized the simulator's crucial role in the RNZAF's modernization plans. Simulators reduce maintenance and flight time on actual aircraft, saving money and time, and reducing the risk to people and aircraft, Rooney said. They also improve crew safety and preparedness as they can train for different emergency situations and poor weather conditions in a simulated flight environment. In addition to the simulator's construction, preparations have also begun for the construction of the simulator's 16-meter, 52.5-foot, building at the Renzaf's Auckland base. The facility will house the advanced simulator and serve as a training hub for the Air Force's personnel. The investment in the Super Hercules flight simulator is a testament to New Zealand's commitment to enhance its defense capabilities. By providing a more cost-effective and safer training environment, the simulator is expected to play a pivotal role in the RNZAF's efforts to maintain a modern, efficient, and effective air force.